if I were to follow this fuse and follow this wire, should I draw through that coil right there? You would never want to draw through that coil because if you did that and you continued through, what did you just say to yourself about that wire? You're thinking fuse, which is 12 volts. So what are you thinking over here? You're thinking 12 volts still. Does that make sense? Where you've failed already in reading the diagram. Anytime you come to a coil of wire, you always change your color because what does a coil of wire need to make a magnetic field? Power to ground, right? So if the red wire is power. What does the blue wire then that attaches to the other side of the coil, what does it have to be? This has to be a ground. So that can be the beginning of my dissection of this diagram. Can I make everything else that's attached to that splice also a ground? Can I go this way and say to myself, that's also a ground right there? Which means that on the other side of this coil, this yellow black wire has to be a power. And notice if you follow it over, check it out, it goes to a fuse. But I knew that before I even got there because I figured out my polarity down here, which told me my polarity up here. And this is the way diagrams go once you start to get it.